Hey, hi everyone, Mark Schausser from Sheko uh, in Urbana, Illinois, just south of uh, Chicago, together with Pega Herniak, the great Pega Herniak, Professor Pega Herniak, and also entrepreneur um, who set up um, the famous CTS, Creative Thermal Solutions. We're here in one of his labs, and, and we thought it would be a good opportunity to hear from Pega about, you know, where, where, where are we now? What's the status in terms of uh, technology development for ammonia, hydrocarbons, and, and CO2? Um, so maybe, I think you wanted to start off with ammonia. On the low charge ammonia, what, what's going on in that space? I think what is uh, on, um, in ammonia business, uh, in development in ammonia technology, the most important is uh, uh, charge reduction. And mm -hmm. this is charge reduction is going along with uh, uh, kind of a unitary development of unitary systems that are uh, factory made and then brought to the uh, to the site and installed in a way very similar to rooftop units or other industrial refrigeration, industrial air conditioning units. So this is a package, plug and play package. package systems, right? That's Absolutely. A, that is a revolution in terms of That is a revolution in industrial refrigeration yeah. because okay. it wasn't uh, uh, present uh, uh, so far. Some mm -hmm. people have been trying to do that. This is bas basically driven from the U.S., right? It is it's driven basically from all happening the in, the, in America right now, that is not very, the rest yeah, of the world. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, only in U.S. I believe it will happen elsewhere in the world, or mm -hmm. we should also say that the good, uh, there, there are several good players elsewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. For instance, Maikawa is yeah, doing yeah. that, or yeah. Star Refrigeration in mm -hmm. Europe. Uh, but most of that activity, by far, the strongest activity is happening here in U.S. Mm -hmm. And basically, the direction is to make a package systems, reduce the charge, reduce the potential danger in the case of uh, earthquakes or some other uh, catastrophic leaks that could happen in a system, and that charge reduction is being done by either reducing the size, or not either or, but in addition to that is uh, by changing the design of a heat exchangers and the vessels to uh, reduce internal volume and also play with uh, uh, various uh, aspects like uh, mass uh, flux or a few others to reduce the, the void fraction and the charge of ammonia in the system. So that is, I think, the, 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 the main uh, uh, events and the main change in technology and I believe that that uh, technology will uh, continue and grow and expand mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know whether replace or when to replace uh, custom build uh, uh, field directed uh, refrigeration system in industrial applications. Okay, now moving on to CO2. CO2 is going through kind of almost continuous uh, expansion now. Uh, the healthiest probably grow uh, is happening in supermarket yeah. industry. And we see that uh, mostly in Europe, but also in Japan, in United States, elsewhere, not only, but everywhere. Uh, and uh, uh, the changes, technological changes, are not only in modification of the cycle, mm -hmm. uh, uh, ways to reduce the effect of uh, uh, higher ambient uh, temperature, but also to uh, reduce the cost and make uh, more and more uh, attractive from that point uh, uh, CO2 systems. Okay, and, and we can see also CO2 systems are expanding in into in, industrial. To industrial. Yeah. And uh, uh, we see lots of uh, CO2 development in car industry, mm -hmm. in refrigeration, and with uh, expansion of uh, electric cars. Yep. Many people are considering CO2 uh, as uh, fluid for a reversible. Uh, system because CO2 would allow uh, operation of a heat pump in an electric car at significantly lower ambient okay. temperatures than conventional fluid can do it. Okay. But the question is, yeah. what is the... Yeah, the, 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 the yeah that's, a, that's a whole separate discussion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Now, finally, because I'm conscious of the time, um, about hydrocarbons, what's going on? Hydrocarbons, in hydrocarbons uh, from a technology point of view, uh, the, not the much, most important, right? it's, not, not it's, much it's, really. It's, it's done. We all know that uh, uh, hydrocarbons are excellent refrigerants. They so we're talking about refrigeration good. here. We're not talking about HVAC. 
uh, in both of them, the, the, the limitations and the problem with hydrocarbon it's is charge. not its charge mm. and uh, flammability mm. and how to handle the potentials mm. for, for flammable events. Mm. And the charge minimization is really the name of the game, same as a kind of protective uh, uh, te uh, devices around this possible spark igniting uh, yeah. uh, uh, situations or components. Okay, but all right. So, you know, you've been with working with natural refrigerant mm -hmm. technologies in different applications around the world for twenty plus years. Are you confident about the future with regard well, to natural refrigerant? I, I am very confident. Uh, the 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 growth of each of these applications is is clear. It is uh, obvious that it is getting stronger and stronger. Uh, whether uh, natural refrigerants or CO2 will uh, take all all applications in refrigeration, air conditioning, heat pumps, that remains to be seen. I'm not so certain in that, but I'm absolutely certain that uh, the, the growth is uh, market penetration, yeah. penetration is getting it? uh, stronger and stronger, increase. dramatically yeah. better, and uh, I have no... no uh, no hesitation to say that I believe that uh, we will see more and more natural refrigerants in every segment. And, and from a technology innovation point of view, I mean, we're really only at the very beginning. Mm. There's still a lot of potential to increase efficiencies yes. in many of these applications. Yes, right? absolutely. We're really and this still, is, you know, touching the, the, the... This is something where really good mechanical mm. engineers mm. have opportunity to okay. show how yeah. much they know. Yeah. And I would uh, say, hey, this is also a challenge. Uh, make it better. Mm. Show off yourself. And that innovation knowledge. is global now, right? You're, you're not just seeing it in pockets anymore. It's, it's just really, you're seeing it in the U.S., you're seeing it And what in is Europe, important in is in China. More yeah, and China more is a big market the, uh, now. Now the, the, yeah. the developments yeah. are also happening there, not yeah. only from a market point of view, yeah, also from for R&D, yeah. technology, okay. and manufacturing. Okay, yes. so it's becoming a global phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you again, Pega. Great pleasure. Always a pleasure. Mm -hmm.